Hi guys, today we're going to be doing street plating for your microbiology practicals. Firstly, make sure all the safety is in place. So wear gloves, glasses and make sure your hair is high back. Using a marker pen, on the bottom of the agar plate, write your group number, date and bacterium name. Also, mark the underside of the plate using dots as you would see at 12, 3, 6 and 9 o'clock. This will help when streaking the plate. To help with the initial practical, we're going to show you the technique of which you streak. Firstly, circle at 12 o'clock and do three to four streaks clockwise towards three o'clock. Turn the plate, do another three to four streaks. Turn again and then the following three to four streaks. After this streaking, you want to do a zigzag streak into the middle of the plate without touching any of the previous lines. Place inverted plate close to the Bunsen burner to reduce chances of contamination. Turn on the Bunsen burner. Loosen the cap of the bottle containing the inoculum. Hold an inoculation loop in your right hand. Once the Bunsen burner is on a blue flame, take the inoculating loop and heat at the peak of the blue flame until the wire is white hot, then allow to cool while keeping it close to the Bunsen burner. Do not wave the loop around to cool quicker as it is increasing the chance of recontamination. Without putting the loop down, lift the test tube containing the inoculum with your left hand. Remove the cap of the bottle with the little finger of your right hand. Pass the neck of the bottle through the flame three or four times so it becomes sterile. Once the bottle is sterile, Put the loop into the suspension without touching the sides of the bottle. Remove the loop and then reflame the neck of the bottle before closing the lid to sterilise. Next, partially lift the lid of the petri dish and rub a small circle at your 12 o'clock dot. Um, Reflame the loop and allow to cool. And from the circle you just rubbed on your agar, streak three to four lines in a clockwise manner to your next dot. Reflame the loop and then repeat the streaking process towards your next dot. Reflame loop and allow to cool, repeating the previous step. Reflame the loop and allow to cool. And then in the final quarter of the agar, you need to streak the bacterium in a zigzag formation from the outside of the agar towards the centre, making sure to not touch where you have previously streaked as this will not give the desired separation. Reflame the loop to sterilise before putting away, turn the Bunsen burner flame back to safety and leave the agar plates on the side to be collected.